Good day. Finally, all my parts arrived. Um, and today, we'll uh, show you what works for me for electrical setup. So, in my electrical setup, I have a motor, a DC motor. Um, then, I have the 36 uh, battery volt, which I'll try and achieve with those two. Um, battery adapters for uh, 18 volts one so I'll, I'll join two together of 18 volts to achieve a 36 volt battery and obviously the last one would be a uh, DC motor controller so I came across these uh, joiners wire joiners lately um, and I like them the best actually so I'm gonna use this then. So I'll need um, about five of them. So these ones are joined together, but you actually can buy single ones and join them together as many as you want, and they just slide in one to each other. How this uh, joiner works? Basically, they require only 10 mil of the cable exposed, and then they just uh, click in, just open the end. Put the wire in and then lock it back again so to achieve a 36 volt battery using two volt two 18 volt batteries um, so what i'm going to do in this case i'm going to join positive and negative on these battery adapters and then the last two negative positive will become the new negative positive of a 36 volt battery so i'm going to use this uh, crimple tool to expose the ends of the wires and choosing the wire to use the couple wire to use to work with actually so what i've done is i looked at my dc motor wire and i went to something similar at least as the same thickness as the DC motor so if you can see mine a little bit slight wider that's that's what I could find um, so it's a little bit larger in diameter so that's right it works all good the main thing when your system is up and running just make sure you you check all your joints so what are you seeking is uh, warm points if you have any warm points then that's a problem you want you don't want any warm points in your electrical circuit um, that's gonna generate an issue later on like a meltdown so I have exposed the end of the battery adapters now about 10 mils each and as I said before I'm gonna use this joiner to draw to join the negative and positive of each of the battery adapters cool now you have a made yourself a um, 36 volt battery and this one can be used really for an application which requires 36 using your 18 volts power uh, batteries you have home for them from the power tools in my case I got those either ones so that's what I'll be using so now I have to left to expose my motors cables and the four cables going into my DC motor controller um, I got all my cables exposed so now I'll just get the motor first so looking at this uh, speed controller direction controller of a DC motor it says here uh, gives you instructions basically minus goes on the left negative on the left and then positive on the right so I'm gonna join these two with the motors ones yep so I matched the negative um, which is black in my case on the other side is brown motor negative and then green is positive motor which joins with the red positive motor now we're going to do the same with the battery back yeah so basically i have my 36 uh, volts battery set up right here um so in general really any dc motor application that's all it requires um, a DC motor, a regulator, a battery, DC motor regulator, and the batteries in between right there. 
Alrighty, we're all set to go. Just do a battery check. They're full. And there is only one way to see if they actually work. So let's do it. Awesome, no worries. So that's pretty much it now. As I said before, this setup can be used for any basically application. Um, now, how and where you choose to set these ingredients on your application, in our case, the Serendemo is up to you. Cheers, and I can't wait to see uh, what everyone came up with. What I have left now to say is we'll see you next time on Mode Time.